Welcome to the last module of the education course. So let's talk about a few golden nuggets that I've collected over the years. This module can be seen as an extension to the last module, the trader's mind. This is an important point and therefore it is repeated multiple times throughout this course. We have to accept the risk. The risk we accept has to be meaningful and it has to stay within our risk appetite which means we should be able to make meaningful amount of money with the risk that we take. Also, the risk needs to fit our risk appetite where it does not give us constant fear. We should be okay to lose a certain amount of money on each trade before we put on that trade. Believe it or not, it is an important skill. And like any other skill, it is something that you have to develop. A bigger position will put you in competition with different players. Your trade performance will start changing due to this. So when you begin, begin with a small account. You have to tell yourself that you and only you have to improve, not the market. You must identify when the market conditions are favorable for your trading strategy or not favorable for your trading strategy. Remember the participants change the activity changes and the market changes becoming a professional in any career takes time investment effort and money and trading is no different so we have to be prepared for a long journey that requires hard work as you become successful making money will become easier and easier your account will reflect your skill back to you there is no other measure needed you should come to trading desk every day excited, looking forward to improving yourself and continuing on a journey to become a consistent trader. While you continue on this journey, make sure you take moments to review your progress. Setbacks will not take away the joy of this journey if you stay aware of your progress. If every few months you review your progress and realize that you've learned a lot You've gained so much experience, your performance is improving, you will be able to continue without listening to negative thoughts. While I do recommend for you to teach someone what you have learned, because when you try to teach, you actually turn that knowledge into an understanding, without which you won't be able to communicate that knowledge to another student. Make sure that you do not seek the student and don't waste your time on folks that are not completely interested in trading. Only spend your time or invest your time on someone that is motivated and passionate about learning. If you face periods where your performance fluctuates, make sure you identify what the problem is. Is it the changing market behavior or maybe it is your physical fitness? Are you feeling 100% every day coming to your trading desk? You should slowly develop an athlete's spirit. Eat well, sleep enough, and practice every day. Adapt to the market as it changes. Stop trading when market is in unfamiliar territory. Maybe it is moving too fast. Maybe the range in which the prices are moving are too big. Maybe the volatility has changed. Either it's going up or is it going down fast. Maybe there is a news event. Stay aware of these changes and adjust yourself accordingly. Failure to achieve something is failure to achieve that target. A trader can fail to make monetary goals in a set period of time. That is just that. Nothing more, nothing less. It does not mean that the trader has not learned anything. It does not mean that the trader was wrong. As a trader, when you fail to achieve a goal, you are always left with a lesson. That lesson or that mistake that you identify in your process or your strategy is going to improve your performance next time around. A failure does not mean that a trader will not achieve that target ever. You're free to change your targets. 
you can decrease the amount of risk you take. You are free to set different timelines to achieve those targets. You don't have to become a millionaire in one year. You don't have to become a millionaire in five years. Create a trading strategy that fits your lifestyle and does not put undue stress on your performance. If you quit, you will make sure that you don't achieve your targets ever. So readjust, regroup, and move forward towards your targets and keep trying. Fear, it is a big topic, but I have learned a few things that I want to share with you. Fear is lack of attention. If you process the fact of what's happening in real time and not avoid dealing with it or store it in your memory, you won't experience what is known as fear. Fear is based in thoughts, ideas, thinking. When you are thinking, you cannot pay attention. My point is that if you are feeling fear, you are probably not paying attention to what's happening on the screen and you might be stuck in a thought process that is reminding you of what loss might be possible or all the hard work that you have put in is going to a loss or similar thoughts. Coincidentally, all other disabling emotions are rooted in lack of attention. This includes greed, fear, revenge. All these emotions will trigger a certain type of trading behavior, a pattern that you want to avoid. And the way to avoid this pattern is by being aware of where your attention is. Spending few minutes before a trade, reminding yourself that your goal is to pay attention to the market and execute your strategy based on the data that you see on the screen will help deal with lack of attention, deal with fear. Don't let an emotion linger in your memory. Don't dwell on it. As soon as you notice mental dialogue merging in the background, take steps to stop and reset and bring yourself into the present moment. Once you truly understand and realize The fact that fear is lack of attention, you will be able to deal with fear. You will be able to deal with a slew of emotions. I will put a link to a YouTube video by JK or Jiddu Krishnamurti who has explained this very well. It took me a few listens and few revisions of the same material to really truly understand this message. I want to remind everyone that the tool Ninja Trader is free to use. You can leverage this opportunity. You can use this free resource, test and develop strategies, build your own custom tools, and then practice them on a simulated account for free. So this moment brings us to the end of this education course and the beginning moment of your trading journey. I hope that this course has provided you with the structured education that you require. This course is just a collection of information. Just like any other education program, this course would require for you to use that information to create your knowledge and build understanding on top of that. This will happen with practice and few revisions of this material. I will highly recommend for you to review the references and resource links provided within this course. So traders, take your time. Build a strategy that is good for you as a beginner that fits your lifestyle and start trading today. I wish you the best in this pursuit of becoming a consistent and profitable trader.